Hello, everyone, and welcome to the official Butt Fumble Sports bracket breakdown for March Madness. We're going to go through every region, every game. We're not only going to give you the picks, we're going to give you the gambling bets that we like as well. So settle in. We're going to go through every game of the NCAA tournament, everything you need to build the perfect bracket, as well as the cash tickets. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the link in our bio, buttfumblesports.com. There, sign up for the free newsletter. Everything you need is going to be coming out in a free newsletter tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Appreciate all of you joining us. But Fumble Sports is going to be providing all the notes, gambling trends, and picks you need for the NCAA tournament. We're going to go through every single region, every single game, and every single pick of the tournament over the next hour plus. <clears throat> Appreciate you joining us. Make sure you hit the link in our bio to buttfumblesports.com. Let's start by going into the round of 64, and we're going to start in the South region. First matchup in the South region is between the number one overall seed, Alabama, and then a play-in game of two 16 seeds. We're going to skip past that. We're going to go and put Alabama right in. Don't need to spend too much time on that game. But the matchup that will lead into that, or the matchup that ultimately will play Alabama, is Maryland at 8 versus West Virginia number 9. Let's break that game down. Maryland right now is a 2.5 point underdog with West Virginia the favorite. Maryland was 5th in the Big 10, West Virginia 8th in the Big 12. Interesting to see these two conferences square off. We're going to talk a lot about who's the best conference in college basketball. The NCAA tournament so often demonstrates or illustrates who really is the best conference. This is a showdown of two conferences that at least have a claim to it. West Virginia was 7-11 and in their conference, but a lot of people believe the Big 12 was the best in the country. When it comes to the strengths of these two teams, West Virginia, good offensive team. Maryland, good defensive team. Maryland, 26th when it comes to points allowed, allowing just 63 points per game. So expect them to kind of try and contain the West Virginia offense. In years past, we've talked about the Mountaineers as a press defense. Not quite the case. They get up and down the floor now offensively, and they really score the basketball. Uh, the strength of the offense, the strength of West Virginia, rather, is their offense. They're ranked 71st in offensive rating. A couple of notes for you. Maryland has four scorers that average double digits, but their leading scorer, Jameer Young, is someone to look for. He averages 16 points per game. On West Virginia's side, Eric Stevenson, 15.5 points per game. They also have four different scorers in double digits. So this is a pretty even matchup. I really like this game in terms of quality of entertainment. From a betting standpoint, it's pretty tricky. The trends suggest that West Virginia is a slight better play with the under also being the recommendation. But this is a tricky one for me. I do lean towards picking West Virginia in my bracket to advance. I like West Virginia advancing to the round of 32 and winning in this game. And for that reason, I'm going to take them on the spread as well at minus two and a half only because I feel like this game isn't going to finish in a three-point or a buzzer beater. I think the final team will get some extra free throws to open it up to about five points at the end. So I like West Virginia on the money line. I like West Virginia to cover minus two and a half, and I like the under. Make sure you're following us on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, Butt Fumble Sports, all the content you need, whether it's college basketball or the world of sports, but we're going to be putting out so much content around college basketball and every pick you need. So make sure you go to our platforms and subscribe on YouTube, our Butt Fumble Sports channel. And of course, here on TikTok, hit that follow button. That way, you know, every time we go live and you get all of our content, we put out some of the bets we liked earlier today. We'll be reviewing those throughout the show. The next game we're going to get into in the South region is number five, San Diego State, against number 12, Charleston. We talked about this game when the bracket first came out. One of my favorite games to look at. This game tips off at 310 on Thursday on CBS. San Diego State was first in the Mountain West Conference. Uh, uh, College of Charleston was first in the CAA. College, uh, College of Charleston is 31-3, and three, so they haven't had uh, a strong strength of schedule, 276th in strength of schedule. 
but they won most of their games throughout the year, and they're one of the rare teams in which you see them both well-positioned in offensive rating and defensive rating. Charleston is 16th in offensive rating in the country, 27th in defensive rating, so they play well on both sides of the floor. They just haven't played good opponents. Does that give me any concern? It doesn't. San Diego State, for a couple reasons, I don't like them as much. Offensively, they're only averaging 72 points per game. They're a defensive-minded team, but I don't think they can score enough points to keep up with College of Charleston. So this is going to be my first upset of the tournament. I like number 12, Charleston, upsetting number 5, San Diego State, and advancing to the round of 32. Right now, by the way, those who are looking to place a bet on that, San Diego State is a five and a half point favorite. I like the College of Charleston to cover no matter what. So even if you don't like if you don't like my pick and would rather go with San Diego State, you sure, certainly should consider uh, the cover play. <clears throat> Additionally, I mentioned think of the under given the defense of San Diego State. Make sure you join our bracket challenge. There's a newsletter with a link and password going out tonight. Be sure to sign up. The link is in our bio. Hit that link in our bio. Takes you to our website, buttfumblesports.com. Sign up for that free newsletter and join our bracket challenge. The password for the bracket challenge is in that newsletter. So you got to sign up for the newsletter to join. You can compete against us. You can show us your skills. Make sure you hit that link in our bio and sign up for that free newsletter and join the bracket challenge. The next game we're going to break down, the winner would go on to play Charleston in the round of 32, is number four, Virginia, versus number 13, Furman. I put out a video earlier today about this game, another one that I really like. Virginia going into this game, lost in the ACC tournament against Duke. Some of their shine has come off. They're a five and a half point favorite. Total for this one set at 132 and a half. UVA won the ACC regular season, went 15 and five in the ACC, while Furman was first in the Southern standings. Uh, they went 15 and three in the Southern Conference. Furman scores a lot of points. Eighth in the country in total points scored, 82.1 points per game. UVA, they focus on their defense. They allow just 60 points per game on average. But I like Furman in this game to cover. I'm not quite sure if Furman can ultimately pull off the upset. I actually think UVA will probably win in advance, so I like UVA on the money line. But Furman as a cover play is definitely a matchup I like. I also would buy the point and a half. Right now, Furman at, at five and a half points. I'd like a little bit more uh, room to work on that. So I would buy the point and a half and take Furman plus seven. I would also consider the under only because I do think Virginia's defense and the way they play offense, bleeding clock, will play into that under play. But I like Furman to cover given how they can score. So one more time to, to fresh you up. On our first four picks in the top, the top half of the Southern region, I have Alabama advancing. I have them playing West Virginia after West Virginia beats Maryland. I have Charleston pulling off one of the first big upsets of the tournament, a 12 seed beating number five, San Diego State. And then number four, I have them just squeaking past Furman in a win, but non-cover play. I like Virginia on the money line, but Furman to cover. If you want to get all of our picks, make sure you hit that link in our bio. It takes you to buttfumblesports.com. Sign up for our free newsletter. In that newsletter, you'll get all of our information as well as access to all of our content. We're going to be putting out all of our picks from all regions. So make sure you go to our channels, Butt Fumble Sports on TikTok, Instagram, and on YouTube. Sus subscribe on all of those channels. That way you know every time we're live, make sure you're following us. Hit that follow button. That way you get access to all of our content. We're going to shift now down to the lower part of the southern region bracket. Number six, Creighton, going up against NC State. NC State was one of the last teams to make it into the tournament. They were on that bubble. They get in at the expense of Rutgers and a few others. Creighton. 21 and 12 this year. They finished third in the Big East, one of the better conferences in the country, 14 and 6 in the Big East. Meanwhile, NC State went 12 and 8 in an ACC that wasn't spectacular. NC State finished sixth overall. 
These are two teams that really rely on their offense. Creighton is 59th in the country in scoring. NC State is 35th. Both teams average around 76, 78 points per game. So expect these two teams to be right around that 150 range in terms of total points scored. The total for this game is set at 148 and a half right now with Creighton the five-point favorite. Creighton has five players with double digit that average double-digit points. Outside of those five, though, that highest scorer who's number six, he's only averaging 3.8 points per game. So they really rely heavily on their top five scorers. Meanwhile, NC State, four players averaging double digits, a couple players to watch. Terquavian Smith averages 17.5 points per game, and Jarkel Joyner, 17.1 points per game. So NC State kind of relies on their top best players to score, really lead them. Meanwhile, Creighton is more balanced across their top five scores. In this one, I like Creighton on the money line. I like Creighton to advance to the round of 32. I do like the over in this game. As I mentioned, these are two teams that are strong on offense. Creighton 62nd in offensive rating, NC State 34th. I like Creighton to win, and I like the over in a high-scoring competitive game. The team that will play Creighton comes out of a number three Baylor, number 14 UC Santa Barbara matchup. Baylor limped a little bit towards the end of the year, especially in that Big 12 tournament. I expected a little bit more out of them. They lost earlier than I expected. They're a heavy favorite in this one, though. Baylor 11 and a half point favorites. The total set at 142 and a half points. This game's on Friday on TNT at 1:30. Baylor finished third in the Big 12, 11 and 7 conference record. Meanwhile, UC Santa Barbara won the Big West regular season, going 15 and 5. Baylor has four players averaging double digits, and their two big scorers, Keontae George, Adam Flagler, two guys who are going to bring a lot of offense. Baylor is a really good offensive team, maybe not as good at a defense as they've been in years past but a very good offensive team, 17th in the country in offensive rating, 54th when it comes to points scored per game, averaging 77.2 points per game. I like the over in this one. Excuse me. I like Baylor on the money line, and I like the over in this one. I expect both teams to score a good amount of points. The Gauchos aren't as good offensively as the Baylor Bears, but they're good enough offensively to at least make it a bit competitive, especially when it comes to that overplay. So I like over 142.5 points, and I like Baylor not sweating an upset, Baylor advancing to the next round to play Creighton in the round of 32. Let's finish up the, the South region. We have two games remaining in the South region. The first one is a 7-10 matchup between Missouri and Utah State. Missouri is 24-9, and they were fourth in the SEC, going 11-7 in the conference, while Utah State, second in the Mountain West, going 13-5. Utah State was another one of those teams that might have been on the bubble, found their way in, but Utah State actually a favorite in this one, a, a point-and-a-half favorite. The total for this game set at a whopping 154.5 points, so you wouldn't be surprised. Both these teams really good offensively. Missouri averages just under 80 points per game, 23rd in the country in points per game for Missouri. Meanwhile, Utah State averages 78.6 points per game, good for 33rd in the country. Expect a lot of points. Missouri, they have Kobe Brown, who averages 15.8 points per game. He's their leading scorer. But they also have a really good three-point shooter. Des Moines Hodge averages... 7.2 three-point attempts per game and is shooting 40.1 percent from three i like missouri's offense a lot this is a tough game for me to pick last night when i went through the first uh, crack at this i really liked missouri in the first blush but looking at utah state's numbers there's a lot of reasons to like utah state in the 7-10 upset so i've changed my mind Despite liking Missouri a lot and really liking the team out of the SEC, what's kind of pulling at me is the SEC has been so good this year that I have a bit more confidence in their teams. But that said, I'm going to go against the, the original instinct, and I'm going to go with Utah State to advance, pulling off the 10-7 upset over Missouri. I'll have Utah State with the 
win and with the cover. Right now, again, Utah State is a one and a half point favorite. I like them covering that. I don't think it's going to be a buzzer beater situation. I think they'll win by two points. The last game of the Southern region that we're going to go through is the number two seed Arizona Wildcats going up against Princeton. Arizona was so impressive this year in the Pac-12. They had a 28-6 and overall record. They're the heavy favorites in this one, a 13.5 point favorite. The total set at 153.5 points. Princeton was first in the Ivy League. They went 10-4 and in their conference. Princeton can score the basketball 76 points per game, but they can't score like Arizona does. Arizona, 82.7 points per game, fifth best in the country. So while Princeton's going to be able to contend for a time, at least keeping it within range, I fear that, you know, this game's going to turn into a blowout quick. The question is, can you get a backdoor cover from from Princeton? I'm not going to touch it. I like Arizona on the money line. I like Arizona obviously advancing to the next round. The only play I really like in this game is the over. Given both these teams can score the basketball like they do, I really like the over in this game. For all of our picks and all of our content, make sure you're following us. Hit that follow button. You never want to miss an opportunity to hear our picks, our analysis, gambling trends, and the like. So make sure you hit that follow button and know every time we go live and every time we put out a video with gambling trends across college basketball and across sports. And as well, hit the link in our bio. It takes you right to our website, buttfumblesports.com. We will be sending out a free newsletter tonight should get into your inbox tomorrow morning with all of our picks analysis and game notes just a click away sign up for that free newsletter and also join our bracket challenge we're doing it through espn the link and the password is in that newsletter so sign up for the free newsletter it's going to go out tonight be in your inbox inbox tomorrow morning with everything you need to sign up for the bracket challenge show off your skills compete against us And let's see who comes out ahead, uh, Butt Fumble Sports or the buddies out there. So make sure you hit the link in our bio and sign up for that free newsletter with all of that information and the opportunity to play us in that bracket challenge.